Hey gang, Dietrich here. So I hope everybody's staying safe with uh, COVID and quarantine and all this madness. But I wanted to um, do a quick longsword video for you guys um, with this sweet new longsword I just picked up. Figure if I can't hit anybody with it, may as well uh, you know, at least do some training with it. So um, this training is going over the tail guard, which is an underutilized, but you know, very, very effective uh, ward for longsword. So I'm gonna show you a couple techniques um, that I like to use. Does everybody know tail guard? Basically, it's from this stance. It's like, you know, like the tail of the dragon um, with, you know, usually a, a left foot lead, whichever, you know, sword is on, hands on the bottom, that leg will be forward uh, in this case. And this looks like a deceptively weak stance because look, you know, all this is open, the sword's way back here. What the shit am I doing, right? But you'd be surprised just how quickly, you know, you can clear any sort of attack that comes through with a simple transition into left plow, that'll basically, you know, clear anything that comes in and lines up your point if you need to do a quick thrust. Um, also, you can refuse into barrier guard. That'll defend basically anything that comes in low. Um, but really, the main reason why we use this guard is to attack. So, the obvious strike from here is a quick snipe to the leg. You know, you just rotate your hips, and it's a quick front edge, you know, leg strike. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you can make people fear that attack, then, um, you know, that's a good tool in your arsenal. In fact, if you add a step to it, you can strike it from quite a bit farther away. Okay? But let's go over a little more, um, a little more subtle nastiness you can do from tail guard. So, you've shown them how quick you can get that leg pop out there. What I'm gonna do next is we advance the hands as if we're going for that, and then we immediately go to a straight overhead blow. So it's a feint. Low to high. Right? Low to high. You advance with the legs, with the hips, and then you simply let the sword tip fall backwards for that head blow. I like this one against either another longsword fighter or a sword and shield fighter um, because that'll bring, the sh that'll bring the shield down, letting you hit them where you want to hit them in the head. Um, so, but it's good um, for pretty much any sort of uh, opponent you're facing. You know, uh, I don't like much against polearm because I don't want to give up as much uh, you know, of the center line against someone with range like that. But, you know, quick feint that. But okay, now for the fun one. Um, this is uh, the whirling low feint to pirouette um, that goes a little something like this. You're starting off with that low strike, but we're throwing it from way out of range. There's no way I'm actually hit with that from here, but my opponent probably doesn't know that. So as soon as I initiate it, I throw a back edge shot to his head. So we throw the shot, we miss with it, we compass step, and throw that whirling back edge. Okay? Let's see it super slow. And it doesn't actually have to be a back edge, it's just more effective that way. There's nothing to say you can't do, you know, do it as a front edge cut. Um, but look how the footwork takes you out of danger for it and will get you around the opponent's defense too. So ideally their focus is gonna drop to pick up this low shot. And you pull it short, just missing any block of theirs, compass step, and strike them on the side of the head. So that's a favorite of mine. And I like to do some nasty shit with it. Like I'll throw from there to there, X cut, right? Um, so, there's another way you can do it though. Let's say your opponent has a long sword or a glaive. You can do this instead of throwing it as a low cut, throw it as a beat to clear the opponent's point. Beat, like that, okay? So, we're just going from tail guard, transitioning it across, and then throwing that cut. And yeah, you can do the front edge or back edge, whoever you like but 
a little quicker. Like that. Um, so, I don't want to go over too much in one short video, but to recap, um, from tail guard, we had that quick release leg shot. We have faint to high blow, and then we have low cut to whirling back edge. All right. So this is some more intermediate to advanced longsword stuff, but I thought you guys might enjoy it. I think it was something to practice with and uh, something to experiment with. Okay. So stay tuned for more. Um, you know, I am working and staying busy, but uh, this has greatly increased my my free time and my, you know, I guess my fire for getting back into fighting and teaching again. All right, folks, be well.